This is the PCB from my last video on how to order PCBs from professional manufacturer. As you can see it has through hole components but also SMD. In this video I will show you how to order the stencil sheet for the SMD reflow of the components and spare you some time in case you are soldering many boards. We will see how to use it, how to apply the paste and reflow the SMD components with hot air, so let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. If you are soldering more than 2 or 3 boards and you have many SMD components, that could take you a lot of time when soldering those one by one. In my case, for this transmitter board, I don't have that many SMD components. But in case of this other board, almost the entire circuit is made out of SMD, and also with very small pins. Soldering this by hand and for multiple boards would take me hours or even days. For that we should use the stencil. GLC PCB is a PCB manufacturer that could also provide you the stencil. Here is what you have to do. Just as in the other video, once the board design is ready, download the Gerber files and make sure you have them in a zip file. Now go to glcpcb.com. Here you have two options. You can order the stencil at the same time with the boards or just the stencil by itself. In my case I've ordered the 10 PCBs for only $2 offer. By the way guys, this offer is just for 2 layer boards, up to 10 by 10 cm and the shipping is free for first customers in this period of time. So if the offer won't apply to you, that's because the board is too big, the amount is too high or it's not your first order. Anyway, I select quote now for the $2 PCBs. Click on the button for add Gerber file. And here select the .zip file that you have just created before. Select your desired settings for the board and here at the bottom you must check the laser stencil case in order to receive the stencil as well. Change the settings of the stencil if you want and if everything is ok click next. Make the payment and wait for the order to arrive. If you already have the boards and you only need a stencil, go to glcpcb.com and here select code now for stencil. Once again, upload the Gerber file and make your order. In my case, to Spain it took around 6 days to arrive using DHL. Now DHL is very expensive. I've made other orders with common mail transportation and it took around 17 days to arrive. So if you don't have free shipping and time is not a problem, don't use the express shipping and save some money. The stencil arrives in this cardboard box well secured in place. Inside, between two wood plates, we have the metal sheet of the stencil. As you can see on the same stencil sheet we have the holes for both sides of the PCB, the name of the order and some extra information. The holes are taped so no dust could get inside and ruin the paste. The stencil is made out of stainless steel and could last for thousands of PCBs. Be careful not to cut yourself with a sharp edge. Also, be careful not to fold the sheet and store it always between the wood boards. Ok guys, here's what you need to do this. The PCB and the stencil sheet and some soldering paste. I've used this one that I've bought from eBay. It's not the best but will work just fine. To spread the paste I've used an old plastic card, one like this one. Any plastic credit card should work. I've used the wood board it came with as a support. Now I place my PCB in the middle and using other boards around it I fix it in place with scotch tape. The boards that you use must be almost the same height as the PCB, otherwise there will be a small gap between the stencil and the PCB and that might give you some problems. Nice, now my PCB is in place and I could take it out and put another when I'm done with this one. This will spare me some time when I'm soldering many PCBs. I put the stencil above the board. And now I move it till I perfectly align it with the components pads on the PCB. Then I tape the stencil on the top side so it could open just as a door and be able to insert the next PCB. I also put some tape on the side so it won't move when applying the paste. Now we are ready. Take the paste syringe and apply some over the stencil. Now using the plastic card spread the paste evenly and make sure that each hole gets filled. Clean the extra paste with the plastic card and save it for the next board. Now remove the side tape and take out the stencil. And there you have it. 
Now each SMD pad has some paste. With this setup, now you could fit in place the next PCB and use the remaining paste and fill those holes as well. It is time to place the components. You will need some tweezers to do that. Carefully place each component and don't worry if it's not perfectly aligned. When reflowing, the components will be dragged by the paste in their place. So don't worry for that. If you are making a lot of boards, you will probably have a reflowing oven. But in my case, I will use the hot air gun of my soldering station. Preheat the gun and when all the components are placed, start applying hot air at a low flow rate. You will see that the paste is starting to melt and the components will fit themselves into place. And that's it! The components are now perfectly soldered. Most of the soldering paste is water soluble, so make sure you wash your hands after this or just use some latex gloves. Store the paste in airtight containers and in cool places, as for example in your fridge. Well guys, in case of the board for the transmitter, the need of stencil is not that high. I just wanted to show you an example. But in case of this flight controller board, if I were to make many boards of this, especially with this SMD at mega chip here in the middle, I would definitely need a stencil sheet. As I said in past videos, these two boards will be a future Kickstarter campaign. This is the third version. Once I'll have the drone running smooth, I will definitely order stencil for all the boards and by that be able to solder all the SMD at mega chips for all the ordered PCBs. I wasn't able to make this many versions for my drone in the past due to very expensive PCB manufacturing. But now, with only $2 and 8 more for shipping, I can prototype my boards. So guys, you have seen how easy it is to order and use the stencil. If you want to use it as well, check jlcpcb.com for more and order the PCB and stencil for amazing prices. Also, check my webpage electronoops.com for more photos and information. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. And remember guys, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys. <laughs>